We've all done it before, sat there and asked ourselves, or someone around us, yo, what if? So we have a full hour of everyone's perspective of the what if of the day, and we have Dane in the studio this week, as hey. always, and we have a special guest. Welcome back, Hello. All right, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Welcome back. It's good to be back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have been chatting too casually in here. Right. Like, as soon as we walked into the studio. Right. So, like, yeah. Now we are on there. Hello, everyone. We've Hi. already done the this ice is breaking. Yeah, we have. We, yes, yeah, we've yeah. done it. Yeah, yes. we've done it. We've done That's it. Very nice. uh, so, Dean, how have you been? It's been pretty much the same ever since I started working on my upcoming album. So, can we have any spoilers? Or are we going to get spoilers. in trouble? Spoilers. Uh, <laughs> it's a it's a pretty interesting song. Okay. And Single EP. Uh, that's gonna be uh no can do for me like any further than this. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah. All right. I was trying to I was trying to curse out a little bit more of a of a spoiler, but okay, mm -hmm. okay. Um, mm -hmm. All that all that all that I can tell you is that I'm doing my best. Okay. Okay, so he's been busy on the album. Hyungwoo, I've seen you in passing when you've been working for yes. Super K-pop and yes, stuff like that. We but said hello too yeah. many times. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> but other than that, we I, I, contact you, talk to each other in any way, right? Out of the studio, right, in the studio, right? Uh, a lot of likes and DMs and stuff like yes. that. But <laughs> how have you been? I know how you've been, but other than that, with our listeners, how have you been? What have you been up to? Very nice. Yes, uh, living a healthy life. Mm. Uh, working out running around because the weather is great in oh, seoul oh, beautiful yeah. trust me book a ticket flight ticket to seoul oh. right now <laughs> it's perfect it's weather perfect weather perfect weather and it's not usual here mm. so, so i'm doing really great okay uh i heard that you two met each other before yeah, oh yeah turns out yes yeah, <laughs> yes we have yes <laughs> It turned out. <laughs> turned out, turns that you guys out to be where Gumyeon. Oh. Uh, we are Gumyeon, and uh, we didn't actually know that. Oh, that was the guy oh. that met. Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, I yeah, didn't really but... recognize his name oh, oh. at first oh. glance, but uh, me too. I slowly realized that it was the it was this uh, yes. great Sunbenim I met before. Uh, okay, at, at, a, at a restaurant. No, yeah. not oh. that great Sunbenim. Please <laughs> don't. Yes, but um, yeah, it was. Were well, you guys met at a restaurant? Night. I called it a restaurant. It was Yangkochi. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So lamb skewers had a little bit of Chinese food. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah. because you like, had a mutual friend that you guys yeah. knew. My close friends works for like his like, company, company and album, oh. and yeah, all the producers and oh, the oh, oh, oh. visual directors. Oh. They're all close friends of mine. So, okay, so you mm. ended up dropping by. He was there. I just dropped by mm. and left, and uh. then yeah. Oh, I've had that they before. Hyung was dropped by when I was drinking, and he's drank with us, and then he left. <laughs> <laughs> it seems that it's like it's Hyung's style of drinking. Like mm. he's. Unplanned. I'll just drop by. <laughs> I'm the bonge man. Yeah, he I'm is. the bonge guy here. He, he is. And he... the last time I drank a lot in Karosukil was with you, I think. Oh, really? That was crazy. Yeah, I Do you remember really... that night? Yeah, I, I, actually, I went home that night pretty sober. <laughs> and you really? Guys didn't call yeah. me. Oh my huh? god! I didn't know you then. Oh yeah. This was like three right. years ago. All right. Yeah. Already. Three you might have ago. been like you know. Yeah. I would. I think it it was pretty cold when we met up too. And for mm -hmm. me, if I'm I get cold, I sober up really quickly. I mm. see. And we had another friend who was pretty yes. drunk, and so to get her situated, and then by the time my designated driver came, like my Teddy came, mm -hmm. like I was pretty sober because you had mm. to care for. Her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, oh yeah, that and happens. You're younger than me too, so I had to make sure that you were <laughs> taken care she of was as very well. Kind. <laughs> Even though he was a complete gentleman and mm -hmm. making sure that all of us she girls were, kind. Uh, were getting well, uh, taken a, care that of. That was a big night. That was very <laughs> interesting. Yeah. CCG says Isaac sounds like somebody who would be so much fun to drink with. It depends. Mm. I mean, I am getting older, but I mean. When Hyungwoo and I drank a few years ago, yeah, we had a lot of fun. Yeah, it was really fun. Yeah. Yes. I'm I'm so looking forward to <laughs> Pin and Dane really wants to do a Hesik. <laughs> Dane really wants to do a Hesik. So yeah. I'm but dying. I know that you're I'm not dying. that good of a drinker. I am not that good of a drinker, but I really love that uh the atmosphere. atmosphere. Yeah. The, vibe. mm. the vibes. Yeah. And he's young. 
<laughs> I Some am young. Right. <laughs> I am young. I'm so happy that Hyung was here because I don't feel old. It's gonna be alright. <laughs> My age is He's at young. the peak of entertainment. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I used to hate it when I was younger, but <laughs> the way that I'm saying this is with nothing but love. When I was your age, <laughs> no your age. he's young. He's young, <laughs> right? When I was your age, uh, we yeah, I would stay up like all night. <laughs> mm. Come I don't work. drink anymore. Mm -hmm. Really? I don't drink anymore. I just work out. I just run around and I do climbing. I, and that, like, That's a good thing. That's a good uh, thing. If we have a Hesik, PDM is asking Hyungwoo, are you going to come? Give me a call. Okay. <laughs> I'll think even, about it. Even though he's not drinking anymore, I'll he'll think, think about, about it. it. Okay. I drink from time to time. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. Mm, we'll that's going to be interesting. We'll see. Uh, today's question is something that I think is going to be perfect for all three of us because... Yes. Uh, I technically debuted as an idol, but I never really had that idol uh, mentality. That and like my performances were not necessarily idol esque. Mm -hmm. Like we weren't like a dance dance I idol of the the era. Right. right. Uh, and I feel that for the both of you, this is going to be a completely different thing too. Mm -hmm. So for K-pop and fan, if you want to join on it uh, as well, if you were to wake up one day and you could be any idol. Mm -hmm. member Whew. who would you want to be wow. now this can be like older idols too so if we're gonna go as far back as like if you're gonna think of like the beatles as an idol group yes you can oh. be a member of the beatles you know mm -hmm. what i mean like if you want to be a part of you know, we, we can go at any perspective or you can just think of k-pop idols and like the idol idol mm. type of a like persona idol. right 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 or the just like a boy band right 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 mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. this, this is pretty interesting because the, the 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 term idol nowadays can be like classified into so many different things. In right, so right. It's right. gonna be pretty hard to answer this question, but this is a very interesting topic and, <laughs> and very it's relatable too. But it's a very different perspective too because we've all been artists at one point. You two are still artists, but like more on the different spectrum of you things. Too. Like that, but yeah. that was like before you were born. <laughs> Well, not necessarily, but like, yeah, mm -hmm. like eons ago. So <laughs> I love this segment <laughs> because I have been dreaming, thinking about, well, you know, yeah, you know, you, you wake up one day or like you're uh -huh. drinking, you're having like a cup of coffee and you're like, like you see an article about G Dragon, like having a black credit card, exactly. like oh, with yeah. have no limit. Be like, mm -hmm. man, it would be great if I could be like G Dragon for a day. You know oh, what right, I mean? Like be right, what right. it would be like uh -huh. if I could be him. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Like this is kind of the mentality we're going into today. Mm -hmm. yes. So Hyung Woo, if you woke up an idol uh -huh. and you could be anybody, uh -huh. who would you want to be? G Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I took it right off. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the generation, us generation, yeah. it used to be like, you know, G Dragon is the... You know, he's the coolest guy, isn't Hyungo, he? Yeah. why are you he's trying to act like you're younger icon. than, like, so much younger than you are? <laughs> Should I say something like G.O.D. <laughs> or something? <laughs> they used to be like, oh. Yeah. Like, right, yeah, I was right. expecting something mm. from first gen. But no, G.D. totally, because I'm actually coming from, I'm going to choose an artist from some the same era. Mm. I'm going to choose an artist from the same era. From the same era. Mm. Same era. I want to be CL. Yeah. Ooh. I would love to wake up one day and be CL. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I would be so happy. Wow, I love her. Amazing. I've never met her before, but it's like on a bucket list. If I can ever meet somebody, like just in passing, I would love to meet CL. Mm, then I'm a friend of CL. That's great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Friend of Isaac is great. Crazy. Of course, but um, <laughs> you becoming like. Yeah, if, if I can get into CL's entourage, I would be happy. That would be. Awesome. I would love that. Dane, so who did you choose? Who would you, who would you, what kind of idol or which idol would you like to be? I would love to be like the, uh, mm. a member of Oasis. Oh, oh yeah. So cool. I, I had a Such feeling that Dane would yeah. be going that far mm. out. Mm. It's, it's like, um, it's more like to me, it's wanting to be a part of the band is more like, uh, wanting to be a, a very independent mm -mm. singer songwriter because for now i feel like i am a singer songwriter band but mm. i'm still a pretty dependent artist mm. i guess but i want to like um evolve into into more. something more independent and more uh 
you know yeah something like that so like with oasis like they have their own brand it's like the beatles like you know yeah. it's like gdcl like they their name itself is a brand mm -hmm. so i feel that for you you want to make your name a brand right pretty much. right 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 mm -hmm. that that it that itself is an it's an icon or an mm -hmm. idol mm -hmm. ah that because that's what he idolized. Right, 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 so exactly. That's really but that's why I like the the term idol in idol. general, not mm -hmm. just like the K-pop standard mm -hmm. of it, but like you asked, who do you idolize? Who's your idol? Like who's your role model in life? And if you have that standard, it's going to be different for everybody. Yeah, that's true. Um, but the term itself has such a great meaning mm -hmm. right. behind it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's got, it's, um, it's, that term is such a, it's got a such a wide and, very uh various meanings it so. does that's why it's the coolest thing ever idol you know? and i think that's why it's been evolving so much especially in k-pop like with people the, how korea has idolized things i feel that in the 90s drama actors who mm. could sing mm. and do back and forth was kind of like that main idol image yes for women it was like the the like the kimis who and those who were like mm -hmm. models oh. but became actresses as well and the were coolest. icons yeah uh and then the more boy band and girl groups were uh, really popular with the first generation of idols but as the k-pop scene has emerged and evolved i feel that the trends that are evolving are now mm. very different too influencers are now kind of like the the moment you know like mm -hmm. youtubers and influencers uh along with idols as well so it's interesting how that one terminology can have yeah. so many different meanings it branched out so well mm. listening to your talk it really feels like you have been so many uh to so many roles right oh. to acting musical Unfortunately. dancing <laughs> singing so basically you are you know radio dj mm -hmm. so i suddenly feel that we could be uh, somehow the dream of someone so i oh, of that's, course that's really cool. oh no, of course of course of course uh honestly when tane was talking about his musical aspirations i was like get close with young Young can help mentor you in that. Aspect. Oh yeah, yeah definitely. I've been just looking I for the cold plays. Yeah, for the all. for I'm the. I'm a big fan of Oasis. I'm from mm. the UK. Mm. They are like my god. I have got my own, you know, Teta song for Oasis. <laughs> Not Teta song, but <laughs> Alta for Oasis and Coldplay and like Elton Rage. John and like. Yeah, so I really understand your perspective. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really understand. Uh, your but I think that in my entire career, the things that I have done definitely does help me as a radio host. Mm. Um, because I'm one of those people that has just dabbed into a lot of things. <laughs> uh, but I uh, I mean, yeah, I I never really thought that, but I feel that even if you, I think the true idols in society are people who don't expect it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why society falls yeah, in love yeah. with so many of those people because like I don't think any of the members of Oasis or Coldplay or anybody was like right. woke up one morning like I'm gonna be the, the oh. world's most famous musician. You know yeah, what I mean? They, they, that's they so just true. pursued something that they loved, but mm -hmm. then that passion ended up becoming an inspiration to other people. That, mm -hmm. That's what I found really like ironic mm -hmm. to 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 succeed in certain genre or anything. You don't aim for like, oh, I want to be the like actual icon of this genre. Mm. You just you just go pursue your dreams. You're like what you want to do. That that's all you gotta have. I mean, even for business, I feel for like the corporate worlds. I think that the the business spending behind them and the the it can be greed, it can be passion, it can be whatever it, it's driving them. But trying to be the best version of yourself or your company being the that's best right. version of it. Mm. Uh, is I think the means for success and that's probably why those companies are all very successful mm -hmm. but as it sometimes I feel that at certain aspects it's what are you going to lose in mm -hmm. the pursuit of all of that mm -hmm. um, and I feel that unfortunately for a lot of the people we idolize like Coldplay Oasis and all the GD and you know CL a lot of the things that they end up sacrificing is their private life mm -hmm. <laughs> and, much, yeah. and you know there there is a lot of sacrifices that they have made in see, the pursuit of doing something that they uh, love. See, that's the big thing about the K-pop idol because mm. they know that they are going to, they want to be a K-pop idol. And uh, since they are young, they give up so many things in right. their life. Oh, yeah, mm. and it's not just like your personal life too. It's, you know, those experiences. They experiences. give up your school, right. school, having friends. Even me, I mean, being a trainee at such a young age, right. I, would, I don't regret it, but I do... That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I do admit that I didn't have a normal high school yeah. experience. And so... In my life, I'm never gonna have that. 
you know yeah. what i mean yeah, yeah I, I, same i i don't really regret regret being like a trainee mm -mm -mm. and spending like most of my early 20 mm. 20s of time because that's as, like, a, as a trainee but that's like uh, a precious time right yeah. right right i still right. learned a lot from it but mm. i i just i just um sometimes imagine like what life would have been uh. if i weren't a trainee right mm. right all my friends were not really like me mm. and they tell me stuff like like some really positive experiences they've been through oh. and yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah just sometimes it, it's different. Think it's about it, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a, you think about I it. I have a lot of advice for him. <laughs> 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 See, <laughs> they're, they're going to exchange phone numbers now and they're going to get a chance mm -hmm. to get oh, better acquainted. Mm -hmm. So for those of you just dropping by, welcome to the show. Today's question for our what if is, if you woke up one day and you could be any idol you want to and just kind of live their life for 24 hours, mm. what would it be like? Uh, Aaron was saying Pua, Blackpink, Epic High, or even Ladies Code. Oh. So any of those members or individual artists would be something that they would love to experience. And for those of you just dropping by to saying what's going on, today's what if. Hyung was in the studio filling in for Joel for two weeks. So yeah, and Dane's here. Um, we have a skit <laughs> that we oh. have to do. Okay. Hyung Woo, you're not uh, new to acting on our show. You've done this before. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> What do you done mean? Done many that, times. You've done many, many. I many have times. a bad memory, but I, I've have <laughs> done Hello, many. Every time you've been on my show for a weekly segment, you we've made you act. Really? <laughs> every segment it's he's been a ago. part of mm -hmm. since I've known him, which is like ten years now, uh -huh. at least. <laughs> is it that long? <laughs> <laughs> he's done some type of acting <laughs> ding yeah we're gonna start off for today are you guys ready oh, yeah. are you guys ready okay is it cute all right you two are you sure you're ready for the audition we are only a few days out of course we are ready I need you Nuna to have your vocals ready we have all the choreography down you know, I normally don't brag, but we're re really good. I'm so proud to have such a talented brother. You know what? I really want to believe you, but I'm going to have to see this to believe it. You don't have anything to worry about. We are going to win this thing. Okay, no, 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 hold on. <laughs> there you go again. You are, you're going to jinx it if you keep saying stuff like that. We have to be humble for once. Seriously, though, Duna. Hyung is the best. He makes all these cool songs. Even ones about curry. <laughs> oh yes, the curry song. I didn't think he would he could dance for the life of him, but he's he's actually good. Any genre and can he can do it. I hope this isn't you teasing me, but um, I really do appreciate the praise. And if you haven't listened to the curry song yet, please do. I put my heart into it. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Stop with all the complimenting and get to practicing. I I'm even resting my voice so I can sing better. Luna, please make sure you take care of your voice. If you don't, you fail this edition. Mangnea, don't worry. Your big <laughs> sister has everything under control. Speaking of control, how about we all go practice for an hour by ourselves and then meet back here to practice together? Sounds good. What should our team name be? We might debut after winning the audition. Hyungwoo, again, stop with getting ahead of yourself. We mm. haven't even auditioned yet. And even after that, it's not straight line to debuting. Uh, yeah, it does seem we have a long way to go. I wonder if our three sibling group will ever debut. Stop being so negative. Where there is a will, there is a way. Just do it and never give up. We've got this, Whoa, man. whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Let's just take this one step at a time and see where it takes us. Let's practice first and get through this audition. Hola a todos, ¿cómo están? Estamos escuchando Arirán Radio desde Buenos Aires, Argentina. Where are you listening from? Let us know. Leave it at arirangradio.com. It is What If Day here on K Pop, and in the second hour of the show, we've got special guest Hyungwoo in the studio with us. Dane's here as well, and we just listened to Hyungwoo's request of Big Bang's Pum Yarum Color Girl. We're still Yay. live. Particular reason you chose the song. I just love this song and um, this song somehow makes me kind of like emotional. Mm, it's mm. a very sentimental track. Yes. 
It is. It's really longing for mm. the, you know, big era mm. of this group. Mm. And yeah, such a big fan of Big Bang and um, G Dragon. So I chose this song. Hyungwoo, since right. you're back in the seat today, everybody's asking if you're going to take my spot. Maybe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Maybe. wait. Pedinim, I, may, I might take vacation and just have Hyungwoo take over. <laughs> no one is going to take Isak's seat in <laughs> this whole building that I <laughs> You're not What? replaceable. No, I am. You're I'm... like you're like the icon of no, 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 no. You're so talented. And rather than that, we should hang out more. Like we no. do, but yeah. you live outside of Seoul, and I live outside of Seoul. We live on the opposite sides. Oh, you know that? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. He lives on the other side of Gyeonggi. I live on the other side of Gyeonggi. Yeah. So that's one why. time I need to needed to, to move my house, and I need to do the interior thing, and I called her mm. to some ask some advice. That was really interesting. Thank yeah. you for that. Oh, yeah. Did it help? Yeah, it really oh, okay. helped. Yeah, he was moving and he asked for the person who did my interior design oh. for my house. And so I... Yeah. We all have our own uh. connections. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, because right. uh, when I moved out of Seoul, I moved into an apartment that I did a lot of work on. She did a lot. Yeah, I did like oh, a lot me. of work. Like I... I literally like demolished two walls <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> we did a lot of we did a lot mm -hmm. uh and so he did a really good job and he was really good with the after service as well so like you know if there's a little bit of silicon like mm, you know yeah. peeling and stuff like that he's really attentive about doing that for free he'll oh. send somebody to do it mm. wow. if there's something wrong with like the cabinets that they put in if it's something that they did uh. wrong they'll fix it recently he came to fix my tiles on the bathroom because when they You know when they put the sealant? Yes. Apparently, they didn't put enough. And so, it was falling apart. Mm. Oh. Uh, and so, they just came and they redid it for me. Uh, for free. For free. That's really nice. So, that's money out of his pocket because he has to pay the I experts know. to come to do it. Yeah. But yeah, so he's that's he's really good at this. So, I tossed him. Yeah. Wow. He's a little bit more expensive. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's, okay. it's worth it. Yeah, I think oh. it's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. Mm. It's worth it. Well, I'm glad. Mm. Um, <laughs> I'm glad our listeners think I'm irreplaceable. I am not irreplaceable. <laughs> <laughs> I am very much you replaceable. Are. But I think the only thing is is uh if my show gets cut maybe but if somebody was to inherit my show mm. it might be a tiresome thing because my script is not really a script <laughs> yeah it's just keystone <laughs> you're gonna talk about this throne. this this <laughs> lengthen it to like an hour to two hour long so the the way that i've worked is i don't necessarily have a word for word script because i can't read it anyways mm. i'll fumble and yeah i'll stutter a lot so i don't do that uh and i wasn't trained to do it that way anyways so that's why my scripts barely have anything mm -hmm. <laughs> um but yeah so we're talking about if i woke up one day and i could be any idol who would i be what would i be what would i do with it uh we've talked about some of the idols that we would like to to be uh as well so uh we have some statistics which i'm quite curious as to what in the world would be a statistic anyway mm -hmm. uh dane i want you to go first this week okay i brought a survey uh people took on which role do they want to be if they were if they were to become an idol like there are different oh, roles the in, in a band right oh, oh in the band yeah oh so they actually have questions like this for service this is so interesting, interesting. this is an interesting topic that's why i chose this okay oh let, before we go into it if we were making an idol group Hyungwoo, what would you want to be the role Dance dam -dang, Kiyomi dam -dang, <laughs> vocal dam -dang, producer dam -dang. can i born like like do i have to be like re reborn <laughs> I mean, if you want to. I want to be like reborn and uh, become a main dancer. A main dancer. Yes. <laughs> like our skit. Because I can't do it right now in this life. <laughs> Even saying like this life, I can't do It's it. It's over. So <laughs> because like maybe next time. My dancers, uh, my dancing teachers, like dancer teachers, used to be. Now Wait, they are. Wait, you doing... used to take dance classes? I I used to oh. when I was in Loen, oh. Samsungdong, oh. like uh, station. They made you guys do. Oh. And my dance teacher Hyungdae was nowadays they are dancing uh, for IU's. Oh, yeah, and they are still doing good. Oh, yeah, and they taught me a lot because they do still. Uh, for those guys like me, right, right, you right, have right. to be comfortable right, right, with right, dealing right. with your body. Wait, so what did they, what was their feedback? They, what, 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 they what? gave up on me. They're like, I can, I can. You should like play instrument and sing. 
<laughs> 형우 춤은 아니야. <laughs> 춤은 no, 형우는 no, 춤은 아니야. No dancing for no dancing. Like, oh my god. I can totally relate to that. Mm. Like I, Dang, I, you're I not a dancer dance. either? This was actually one of the questions in in the in the script. But like <laughs> what what dance challenges do I want to do? Like that was one of the questions, oh, dan- right? Cuz dance challenges are really popular these oh, days. Oh yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I was like days. it'll be better off for everyone to like if it would be better off just preventing anyone from coming to my room because i just can't dance i, I don't want to take a talk <laughs> the video <laughs> okay <laughs> that's so, me that's okay me. so he wants dance. to be reborn so he can dance and be the main dancer, the main dancer. dane if you could be in any position where mm-hmm. would you want to be i mean mine's uh mine's pretty straightforward i I just love singing, and I want to be the main, main vocalist. Vocal? Okay. Yeah. Main vocal. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do exactly what CL is, since CL is my. So if I was good to be in a group like 21, I want to be the main producer, mm. but also the leader, mm. <laughs> and oh. the rap part. So I want to even in a group, I want to be CL's part. That's great. Yeah. If if uh Sounds being great. a producer could be one of the options, then I would go for it. Cause like Chico is the main producer for Block B. Yeah, Uzi is the main producer for that. Seventeen. I we know. have our main producers in our idol groups too. So. Oh yeah. That's Times true. have changed. Yes. Yes. Okay. So what was the questions oh, in the yeah. survey? And what, what, how is happening? Back to the survey. Most of the people said they are, they are confident in singing. And they want to be the main vocalist. Forty-one oh. percent. That's actually a lot. Forty-one. That's almost like half of the people. Main vocal. Main vocals. Yeah. Okay. The second place went to the <laughs> people. Second most people said they're they've got the visuals. Oh, <laughs> oh I want and that. Uh, center. Can I change my answer? <laughs> I want that. I want to be reborn and be the visual center. I want to reborn and become Changu. <laughs> That's gonna be cool. Okay. Yeah. Nineteen percent, in fact, said they want to take the uh, center. visual center. Role. Oh, visual center, the mm. mascot of the team. Wow! Look at that. Okay. Good for them. Third place. Uh, for third place, uh, fifteen point five percent of the people said they've got a great sense of humor and want to be the uh, entertainer of the team. Oh. Like, oh. Them, them. oh. Okay. Oh, that's cool. That's like, cool. Like Kwang Yee Sonbin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be amazing. Oh. I, I wish I had a sense of humor. Taekwoke either is some bit to you? I think so. Really? They debuted a lot faster. Like, like really? really? I think so. Okay. Mm. Really? Ah, mm. uh, 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 it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, makes sense. Yeah, right? it makes sense. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Say CG wants to be visual too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the visual is cool. <laughs> Everybody wants to be Chang Won Young. Mm, I get oh, it. Oh yeah. Everybody wants oh, to be Chung Sumi. Yeah, that I get like it. One and only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to be visual center. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's cool. What else? First place. Uh, Eight point one percent of the people said they want to be the uh, charismatic leader mm. of the group. Fourth place. Leader. Okay. And sadly, for the last place. Went to the uh, the main dancer. The main dancer. I guess oh. people are not really. Hyungwoo's <laughs> choice was last. Because that's what I am most lacking, oh, lacking. in this life. Oh, yeah. yeah. In this life. Yes. In this period of life, that's what I'm lacking. So that's why. Mm. <laughs> that was interesting. That was an interesting survey. That was very interesting. Hmm. Huh. There's an opening. There's an open ending to this. What? Like 4.7% of people said they want to be something else. I don't know oh. what that is, but. That cannot be the guitar, right? No, that guitar means other. Yeah, yeah. others. Yeah, guitar, yeah, Some, et cetera. Et cetera. That there, could there mean be, like a producer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like Uzi. Yeah. 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 Or like, I want to be a soft vocal. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Soft vocals would Less be pressure. something. There's no rappers in there either. The, uh, oh, there is. Actually, oh, there is? The this fifth is place. The, yeah, the fifth place. Oh, is the main rapper. Yeah, main rapper. Oh, yeah. Six percent of the people said mm. they want to be the main rapper. Main rapper is cool too. Main rapper. Okay, but yeah, we have like 13 members in groups now, so <laughs> <laughs> that's true. We have like average of seven and more these mm. days, so there's a lot of roles to fill. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's just <laughs> too so, many roles. Yeah, there's there's a lot of roles to fill. They have got a sub vocal, sub rapper, mm. sub dancer, mm. and some groups they don't have roles. Oh, no leaders. My. Now they are doing it. Uh, I, I cannot have. categorize every single one of them. Uh, I just don't understand what each like term means anymore. Yeah, there's like way too many to produce the song. You know, mm. the main vocal starts the song mm. usually. You know, the, for the composers, uh, there's uh, like a there's like I a heard. lead vocal. Yeah, That's lead different. vocal and main vocal. Lead vocal is the Starter. one starting the song. Uh. Oh, yeah. And the main vocal is like so lead vocal. Chakokalte. <laughs> 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 compose the song. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So let me tell. So 
a lead vocal of a group for like girls' generation would be like Suyong, Yuri, or Yuna. They mm. start the song. Start That's the song. lead vocal. Main vocal is Taeyeon. Yeah. Or Tiffany, who normally okay. sing the high chorus and oh, yeah, the yeah, high yeah, notes. Yeah, yeah. So, so lead vocal is mo- mostly like, like people who've got a great tone. Oh, yeah. Right. So they normally start the song or right. they sing the bridge uh, uh, yeah. uh, of it, like in, yeah. like killing parts. Very oh, addictive. Right. Uh, right, the, right, right. Yeah. And then we have our main vocals. Mm. They're but like, then yeah, again, yeah. like each company always gives the meaning differently. But like if we look at like Girls' Generation, that would kind of be the best mm. oh, yeah. description. It's really easy to understand mm. <laughs> because you're using the ghost generation as an example. For me, that was a very kind example. <laughs> Not like those groups right now, like, oh, that's very nice. Like Taeyeon being the main vocal. Oh, yes. Taeyeon, yeah. the best K pop female singer. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about it. No doubt. Exactly. Mm, mm, yeah, nice. and of course we have girls generation there's so many members so there's a lot more uh-huh. <laughs> comparisons right. yeah, yeah. Uh, for that mm. um, let's see here we have some of our listeners Nur wants to be the leader if she has a choice uh, say, say you was saying oh Isa wants to be the all arounder kind of all arounder <laughs> oh, I want to be the all arounder in the group uh, <laughs> you can sing really. you can dance you can no, talk no 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 you mm. can um, let's see here uh, CCG was saying if you're going to be visuals you just have to look pretty without doing anything which is true yeah technically mm. that's going to be the inherited like mm. s- like mm. visual like even if you suck you at dancing you're pretty mm. <laughs> that th- any yeah I would want doesn't that. matter anymore <laughs> I would want he'll, that he wants that <laughs> that could be nice <laughs> the best looking guy Ooh, so you want to be Taunu? Oh my! But Taunu sings well and he dances well. I too. know, and he's got the and he's uh, he's very the, nice he's the definition too. of all around. Oh yeah, and he's nice. And everyone, oh that's why K-pop idols God. are so unfair. <laughs> 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 they have got every <laughs> talent. That's why it's so unfair. Right? They're they're crazy. all all rounders. They're, they're supposed all to, all rounders. There's supposed to be some flaws there, but there's apparently no flaws. Mm. Mm. He's like one of the figures that nobody like aims to be. Cause like he's like, he's like on the impossible level. <laughs> you gotta be Chaunu to be Chaunu or something. So Nur was saying, Hyungwoo, it's okay. You're not Chaunu, but at least your two U's are the same. Oh. You're almost there. <laughs> very close. <laughs> That's very kind. <laughs> very close. <laughs> Tears in my face. That I know. I've never. Kind, I've never you. even thought of it that way. <laughs> I never realized that you both have woos in your name. Oh, that's very kind. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to take a song break. Uh, oh, speaking of <laughs> Jang Won Young, yes. uh, Dean oh, has right. requested Ives I Am. Mm. Particular reason? It's got the lyrics that talks about how I am. Like, people mm. should um aim to be like people don't have to be like aim to be someone else mm. them t- themselves is already like mm. a superstar okay to, yeah it's got really great lyrics I totally think so. off topic i went to singing room with our staff mm-hmm. and they made me sing an i song i didn't realize how high i songs are oh. this is very high i think they made me sing dive that song is so high that's a song anyways song. we're gonna take a listen to dane's track which is ives i am and we'll see you guys back after this and more of the show you want to message me? Go A R I R A N G. ArirangRadio.com. We continue on with our What If for today. Special guest Hyung was in the studio. Dane's back this week as well, as always. Mm-hmm. We're talking about if we were to wake up one day as an idol, who would we want to be and how we're going to kind of deal with that. Yes. I'm getting a little bit of teasing from our listeners about Isak singing. <gasps> it's been forever since we've heard her sing. I know there's a reason that we have don't do that anymore. This is too good. No, we did it as a penalty for a while uh, that if I lost, I would have to sing. I remember that. Yeah, you were doing the and segment. I was with doing the team. segment. Yeah. That's my, that oh, really? used to be our segment. Yeah, so we, the penalty was whoever lost had to sing a song that week. Oh. Yeah. Like, not the whole song, but like just the first verse. Mm. Yeah. 
Um, It'll be a prize for you. No, Still so no. <laughs> so when I, I got rid of that as soon as we could, <laughs> I got rid of that as soon as we could. <laughs> uh, so uh, we have Hyungwoo has some more surveys that he brought in. So what mm. survey do you want to look at? I've got the survey too, and I thought this is kind of interesting because you know we could start talking about this because we are too comfortable here, right? K pop in, you know, was the. Uh, Difficulty of becoming an idol oh. that people would not understand. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this is the right. topic. How do you think? For me, yeah. okay, so I know now as an adult that my privacy was never going to come back to me as an idol, but I think that uh, one thing that is not taught enough mm -hmm. to idols mm -hmm. when they're younger and trainees mm -hmm. is how much weight what they say and do. Oh, yeah, has. Yeah, yeah. So, like, everybody's immature, but giving them a social media outlet is a very dangerous thing. And if I think back to all the stuff that I posted on SciWorld and yes. all the stuff that I posted on Facebook, yes. like, even these days, like, 10 years mm. ago today mm -hmm. on my Facebook, mm -hmm. if I look at it, I'm like, oh, too, too, too. <laughs> cringing. It's so cringing and it's right. so bad. Right. It's so bad. Like, so, especially since our trainees are young and you start so young, I think the biggest thing that companies need to like drill into their head mm -hmm. is the safety of what you say and the consequences right, yes. right, with right, that. Right. Mm. But I think that's all artists. Yeah. And, I, and I feel that not artists. everybody realized it because I never realized it. I was just trying to do something that I liked, but... In the end, that was one of the biggest consequences mm -hmm. that came to be. Mm. And it was something that I was not thinking about. Mm -hmm. mm. What else, What do you right, guys think? Right, right. I think you've got all the answers that we have. Oh, right. oh. <laughs> because you have been there. I think. Oh. How do you think, Dane? What I, f I feel like. Difficulty? Like, I think she's right in like many, so many ways. Because mm -hmm. like, it's not that I think all trainees should be like prevented from like having freedom to express themselves because oh. mm. that's a way to improve as an artist. But I just think that they need they need to be like taught well. Right, right. That's the thing. Uh, I know that there's certain companies that are pretty much like, they're kind of like the cool aunt or uncle in the aspect of you want to party? Party under our roof. Mm. Oh, You know what I mean? Right. Like you want to drink? Drink under our roof. So yeah. they with have the control, manager. right with your managers, with our staff. You know, it, they're having damage control. Yeah. Um. But I feel that those not all companies are going to have the manpower to do that. So uh, to add to Dane's ideal, the companies really need to drill into these kids' heads mm. that you need to be careful of what you're going to say and what you're going to yeah. do. That is a big responsibility of becoming a singer. I know. Yeah. I mean, like, if you take that to an extreme level, that's going to, like, negatively mm. impact their uh, lives as an artist. But that's still a necessary thing for adults to do mm. to um, teenage trainees. Yeah. Okay. Hyung what about you? Um, I agree with you, uh, too, you know, that you have to be careful about what you say and what you express. And right. that's the difficulty of becoming an idol mm. because uh, that's the most difficult thing to do, I think. I think... In anybody it's the most difficult thing to do because I you have to be mature so. mm. to deal with it but coming from the other side of things like even now i see some random youtuber or celebrity that their life is exploited all over the place yeah, I know. dirty secrets all over and it's just like a lot of those people don't sign up for that you mm. know what i mean yeah, like yeah. being canceled yeah yeah the cancel culture and everything it's just like it's a witch hunt these days yeah. which i feel is is a bad part of pop culture right now yeah. but um on top of that i feel that if we're going to be training our kids and debuting them at such young ages mm. then we need to be able to drill into them that jumping into the limelight is going to be you know like airing out your dirty mm -hmm. laundry mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. experience life but you know don't go too far mm -hmm. you know what i mean having the freedom to do something and make mistakes i think it's about everybody knows that people can make mistakes but i think mm -hmm. it's when they try to hide it like dane yeah. said like when they're, when they try to rebel against it and then like they try to sweep it under the rug uh -huh, and like uh -huh. act like nothing is wrong. Uh -huh. That's when I think the media and uh -huh. the fans turn uh -huh. their backs. I know. Right. Yeah. Right. And things happen in any way. I'll it's be more like, I'll, I could be more on the moment here. <laughs> <laughs> things happen and I have seen many young artists yeah. uh, uh, getting involved in some 
you know, bad things. Right. So it could happen. It does. And there are people who work for the thing, for the artists and the group. So I think that's an important thing. I think that's a big thing. Mm. Like on top of everything, just don't do bad things. But if you if you made a mistake, just you got to be honest about it. That's a very important thing, I mm. think. Yeah. Uh, being a at um, least don't lie artist for uh, over a decade, right. I think one thing I learned is that maybe you should just be a good person. Then uh. everything's gonna be okay. Uh. Yeah, even even though some mistakes uh. or something bad happens, if you are really proud of yourself uh. of being a good person, I think relatively it's gonna be okay. That's my. I, I, I think it kind of falls back into you know the idols that we're looking at today. Uh, they just were trying to do their best, and people started following. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. that we've mentioned. So it doesn't mean that those people didn't make mistakes in their life, and then they didn't miss something, or you know, they they didn't have a wardrobe malfunction, mm. or you know, they made bad decisions or mm. dated somebody that they shouldn't. Mm. Um, I feel that you know, it's it's about the life experiences. But again, I think that uh, with the way that social media is going these days, even your average person mm -hmm. doesn't realize how much weight involves being post like a comment or replying to something mm. um so i feel that the companies should work on that yes. a lot more yes mm. they need that because the industry is getting bigger mm. yeah I think that's why it's becoming more important. I and think. the fans are getting more savage. Right. Yeah. Right. And just downright mean. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's really interesting because, like, being honest, in other shows, I would not be this honest in here. Like, <laughs> becoming an artist, you always have to be a mm, very nice uh, person, very, you know. I, we but, don't lie, but we don't tell the whole truth. We're like yeah. politicians. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and when it comes mm. to K-pop, I'll be like really, really honest. And that's and why we love having Hongo here because even though really he's on Super K-pop, he never repeats stuff that he would do there or that he would do here. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to have these two troublemakers back in the studio next week. So uh, don't forget to tune in. What kind of what if are we going to be getting ourselves into? This also goes up on our YouTube channel as an audio on demand. So don't forget to check it out if you want to re-listen to the show. Uh, Yunwan is on the track for today with Tonin Sarangandanin Balonin. No more words of love. These two are back next week and we'll see them. Bye! Bye!